<laughs> well, hello there, YouTubers. This is MediP here. Um, going to show you my eSig range. I have a lot of eSig range, and I'm in the middle of tidying up, as you can see in the background. Uh, this side. There we go. Um, I bought a new tank. Fuck yeah! But I can't use it. Why can't you use it? Because I've only got the MVP, and it's version one, and it doesn't sub all, and it only goes up to 11 watts. So, what tank are you thinking I'm talking about? Well, today is a Ganger Tech Sub O Nano. Not Sub Tank Nano, but it's got two coils. And you just pop the top off. Let me put this battery out of the way, and then you just go. And the tank is revealed behind all that. So, let me read it to you. One Sub, sub Tank Nano. One OCC sub ohm, 0 0.5, um, range 15 to 30 watts, one um, times OCC 1.2 ohm, range 12 to 25 watts, uh, one Pirate X glass, Pirate X glass tube, and a manual. It uses Japanese cotton, organic Japanese cotton to be precise. So that is it. It's a shit hot tank. Can I vape it? No. Well, I can. Oh, I'm maximum 11 watts on me MVP, but it gives off no clouds and it chokes me. Because I'm not used to it. So, you get all the gubbins telling you. What did it tell you? Oh, the. Right, okay. There we go. So, you get everything in the box, as you probably already know. And the tank looks like. This. This is a beast tank. Sorry I've got no focus, autofocus, but I have it on one airflow. So I'll show you the MVP with the Aspire Nautilus Mini on here. That's pretty decent cloud, and that was that. 8 watts, put it to 9 watts. Yay! <clears throat> That's at 9 watts. Now I have the Aspire BDC tank. It's actually a clone tank, but uses the exact same coil, what they use on a Inspired vapor, 1100 milliamp hours, um, variable voltage, twist battery. So I'll give you a vape on this. This needs refilling. I need to get some more liquid, and I need to get a new battery, a sub ohm battery, at least 30 watts, because that what I've got at the minute is not enough to power um, this. So yeah. That's the kind of clouds you're going to expect from this. Um, if you turn it up more, you get more of a burnt hit. Um, because the coil is designed for low vaping range. So... <coughs> Hang on. Right. Sorry about this. I'm just getting a bit choked from all the E6 because I'm trying them out and trying to get them to work. That's a decent flavour and a decent bake from that. Let me turn it up to uh, three, four, five, no, 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 eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. There we go. 4.2. This tank cannot do 4.2 because it t tastes burny, but it works amazingly well. 
So yeah, it's got the BDT coil, there's like a hundred different types of coils. You get your sub ohm coils, and you get your standard coils, you get your dual coils, you get your single coils, you get your top filling coils, you get your bottom coils. You got your coils where the coil wick is out on the side, you can see the wick, or you got the ones where it, the wick's inside a metal circle thing, and you got all millions of different types. The best coil, the best coils I've found so far are the dual coils from um, Aspire, this BDC, and the one in the um, Aspire Nautilus Mini. Oh yeah, I've just realised I've got two Aspire things. I got the Aspire BDC and the Aspire Nautilus Mini. So that is what I have. Um, I vape a lot because I'm vaping on low um, nicotine, which is better for me. I'm vaping on 6 to 8, depends where I go, depends if they do an 8 or a 6. I used to vape on 12, but now it started, started to choke me. So basically, um, this battery doesn't last uh, a full day. I can get I can get two days out of it if I'm not vaping as much, but if I vape it a lot, then I get not as long. This I can get three days out of. Easy. Look at that. I vape different to some of you guys. I do my primer puffs kind of thing. So as I'm doing it, I'm going sucking like a fish and then I suck it all in because it helps the wick to wick up better as it's being vaped. Now, this is just my experience. Everyone vapes different. I can't do lung hits. I can only do mouth to lung. Lung hit is where you just breathe directly into your lung. So they turn directly in to your lung. Mouth to lung, for people who don't know, is where you hold it in your mouth, then you go into your lungs, then out. So that takes a bit of a longer thought. I'll show you the mouth to lung. So I held it in my mouth, then I suck in. I'll do a, a long one for you now at, let's say, 10 watts. As you can see, you don't get as good cloud on this type of tank because I have it on a tight airflow because I like my airflow is tighter. When the two air it, I get choked easy. So I'm going to put it back about eight. Eight. Uh, so what I need to do, excuse me for burping, I've had a drink. <clears throat> what I need to do is all the tanks I've got is I need to find um, 1.2 ohm coils for them all, um, low resistance coils. I don't want anything lower than a point, than one, point one, or whatever you call it. No, no point one. That's not point one. No, I mean 1.0. Um, because I can't sub ohm. Sub ohm is when you go below it than one ohm. Um, some this one I think is like 2.3 off, 2.5 or 2.9. This one in here, it's quite high. So the lower the resistance, the better the cloud and the better taste. So this one is, let me double check, a 2 ohm coil, which is quite high. Um, I've used 3 ohm coils before and I got hardly any vape and it just burnt straight out because of the coil was just shite in one of them CE4 tanks. <clears throat> I only got that for £1 to test out a flavour quickly and then I burnt it out because I put it on too high of a watch and it just went... Pop, you heard a popping sound, and now it doesn't vape ever again, so I binned it. But I got the liquid out of it first. Yeah, fuck that, shit. So, sorry it's been a long video. I've just been explaining what I've got, and what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find the best setup. The best setup I've had is obviously this. But I would like to get the E-Leaf iStick um, 30 watt sub ohm Because then that'd be me set up. Um, I'd have this for when... I'm going places where I don't need my big mod, and I just want to take a little, small, well, little, I, mean, I don't mean the length, I mean the width, little as in that, because they're both like, oh yeah, they're both as tall as each other. So, yeah, I love my removable drip tips. This Aspire BDC has no removable drip tip. This Aspire, La um, not Lantus, Aspire Nautilus has a removable drip tip, and I got this £3 
cool drip tip and it has a tighter airflow, as you say. So now, I am boring you probably, but I need to stand this fucking. I hate these or ones that don't stand up. So, as you can see, I'm going to take this off and put on this bad boy. The Nano. I paid £20 for it from a friend who bought it and didn't like it. I'm not liking it at the minute because I don't have the battery to power it. So I'm going to do max 11. 11 watts. 11 watts there. On its tight airflow. So here we go. This is all Red Bull and all my tanks. That's all I use at the minute. But I do have... Oh shit, I didn't realise. I, I have a powered energy. I have a fireball and some crappy other one, I don't even know what the fuck it's called, uh, hang on, I have Dark Side of the Night by Bulldog Vapes, and it looks like a shit sang, a shit liquid, I mean, so I have some of this, and it's not very nice, so let's try this one, It doesn't seem to be working very well. It seems to be popping, if you probably might have heard that. Look, I get no vape out of it because of the low power. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And it chokes me. Why does it choke me? I have no idea. Uh, it's a 1.2 ohm coil in that. But, yeah. I'm just going to stick to the two that I've got for now until I can get my battery. But yeah, great combination. So this has been Maddie P. Sorry for the long video. Hope you've enjoyed this, and we shall get to the next video. Peace.